Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and today is Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014, and this is the daily scan. All right, our announcements for yesterday um, came in just short of expectations almost across the board here. And today we have the ADP unemployment report and factory orders and uh, petrol status report. The big ones are coming in tomorrow and Friday. Friday we get the unemployment numbers for March. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, let's go and take a look across the ponds. All right, in Asia, almost across the board, we are green and in Europe almost across the board green there as well so moving quickly we are at a nice pace for today looks like uh, the US indexes are all going to be opening up gold is up three dollars but still well short of the 1300 number that we're looking for and then uh, oil is actually below a hundred dollars that's a big drop in the last couple of days or I think in just one day actually let's take a look at a chart real quick on that and see what's been going on with it yeah that's a big dip that it went through yesterday so if you're a futures trader you might want to think about going long right about now Okay, uh, snap up a couple of those oil contracts. All right. Um, yesterday, Chipotle and LinkedIn alerts both triggered. And I got into both of those. And we'll take a look at those as we go through the A-plus list. We'll use the Analyze tab to see if we have anything existing out there. And we do not. So we're taking a look at Apple, and we were looking for Apple to come up and tap this little um, bullseye here, and looks like it's on its way, and it looks like it's going to continue today. Amazon, nothing live. Uh, we're looking for it to come up here and hit this target. Looks like as though it's uh, moving well. We like to see that because you can't make any money if you're standing on the sidelines. Boeing is just moved up and closed above the 50 moving average, um, which is um, kind of nice. The 50, yeah, I can't, and it's not coming up up here. Uh, let's see if we can get it to come up. All right. We'll go over here and see if we can change our settings. All right, we're talking about the simple moving average. We have it showing a plot and a bubble and showing a study. Just looking to see if we had titles up here and we don't. All right, that's good. What other titles are showing up up here? The, well, that's not supposed to be there. When I turn off the title, it's not supposed to be there. Let's look again. Yeah, if the title's not there, OG SMA is not supposed to show up up here. All right, I'm not going to fight that right now. We were moving at a good pace. Let's continue. So it did, I would say, close above it. We could zoom in to see for sure, but it's probably not a big deal. So Boeing looks like as though it may be reversing its trend. Baidu uh, also had a very nice day yesterday, moving right up into our target area. So this is currently a setup. So what we would be looking for here is a hook down at this time and a confirmation on the MACD. Okay, next up is Celgene. Alright, Celgene's moving up towards our target. We like that. 
needs to do it quickly. We only have a couple days left this week. Chipotle, we are in it, and our short strike is at 580. And we got in it about this time yesterday. Um, okay, so that was uh, an alert. It might be, it's a little long in the tooth here, but we had an alert set here, and I left it in to see if it was going to, we needed it to move above, and it did. It did it very nicely. So we'll see if that one works out. All right, I collected, I have two of these, so uh, 232 and 268 at risk, so almost a one-to-one. -one. Costco continues down but we're getting a move up here in the stochastic as long as we kind of run sideways here stochastic will keep moving up and then when we get our hook down we're going to jump on this baby I feel like I'm missing the boat <laughs> okay I was going to close this yesterday I did not got kind of involved typical day still looking to close CVX calendar as far as, um, well, it's just marching right up here. So we're looking for a bull put play here and um, a move down here into our target area. Uninterrupted red line on stochastic. Take a look at the Dow. Uh, we're not at new highs yet. There's is 165.51. We're darn close, 164.95. Don't play that particular one, but looking at the overall market, it's looking pretty bullish right now. Igor, after the stock split, uh, still looking pretty good, just marching right on up. We're not getting any setups or even preliminary setups on that FedEx. Uh, had a good day. We are sitting with a long put on that. And uh, we might be getting out of that. That was on the schedule yesterday. Anything else going on here? All right, we're in a downtrend. We have a setup on FedEx. And that would be for a bear call. Looking for a hook down on the stochastic and a hook down confirmation on the MACD and of course a red candle or a move below this uh, open here all would be good things to get in with a bearish trade on FedEx looking at gold right now sinking like a rock I don't see it anytime soon coming up to this target but we'll leave it up there Google, uh, we have this calendar on Google. It's acting kind of goofy on us here. So um, we're still looking for that calendar to move down around here prior to earnings. But as IV increases on our short, which expires the day after this, and that's, you know, if we're going to get out of this calendar, we're probably going to have to get out the day after earnings because then the short will collapse. Of course, so will the long the following week, but we're okay with that. It's all a matter of how much are you going to. How much, how much. Okay, IWM, we are in a new uptrend, so we have moved across the 80 here. Actually, it has. We didn't. <laughs> I have to stop with this we stuff. Um, so now we're, we have a target down here for IWM. For an entry for a bull put. LinkedIn. We jumped on that yesterday and then it moved against us after that. You can see that we got in with a bear call here and then it finished out the day rather strong. But we still have a 
red stochastic and when I got in on the trade we had a red MACD but this move at the end of the day turned the MACD green. MasterCard alright we have a setup on MasterCard oh yes we do for a bear call alright 3M nice potential future trend reversal going on here with 3M so we're going to just kind of throw a target down here and that's what we'll be looking for for a bull put see if Netflix is still in trouble Netflix had a good day yesterday thank you very much because now it's going to move up into our target area and give us an opening price line had a very nice day price line yes big opening and a big finish that's looking pretty pretty dang bullish for price line don't know that I'd want to get in on a we just got actually um, that's probably not I'm taking this target out so here's I'm going to um, give you a reason why the 50 MA is still green even though the SMA I mean the uh, EMA moved down the SMA is still green and that's really our key and this is a very a strong opening and then a strong finish is an indication of a strong underlying so I'm changing my target to here I'll leave this line in just uh, for us to keep an eye on this and actually um, this was a if you had a lot of guts <laughs> this was an entry here no it wasn't no, we didn't get confirmation on the MACD it would have kept us out so yeah it's a bunch of actually when it's below here this is not a violation as long as it stays below the 20 violation would be between the 20 and the 80 when it changes color okay and take a look at the NASDAQ and how that is doing maybe it's maybe it's uh, coming out of it our 50 SMA turned green this target's no longer valid and away we go look at the interesting after hours going on here I wonder if those are just bad uh, ticks or something uh, let's see okay moving right along spiders uh, we're still green we're looking for a target down here and just to go back to doing the spider spy weeklies using PPS I think I still have it in here PPS I'm going to turn it on and see how we're looking oh I don't want to see all this stuff I don't want to see all this stuff okay um Go back here. I don't want to see that. I just want to see the buy and the sell signals. Don't want to see that. So turn off slow average, turn off fast average, and all I want to see is the buy and the sell signals. So let's change these two white and I don't know why they don't give you white as one of their selections here I'm going to change this to white and there we have it okay so we have a PPS up just out of curiosity now we can leave those on there for right now if you want to go back and do a search on the YouTube channel for PPS um, you're going to find a couple videos about it, about trading the SPY using PPS, but we can leave it on for everything else for a while, for right now, if that's okay. 
Okay, uh, jumping over to Tesla. Just got car of the year for Motor Trend, I believe. Tesla still is green here, so we're throwing a target in down here. It should have gotten out. Oh, after hours, it did very well, and it's trading this morning already. So this could be a 20 delta trade here. So again, better look at these 20 deltas for this week. Let's see if there's anything good here. Uh, 22 would be at 210. So if we were to say that we wanted to do a vertical, so that's 55 cents risk and uh, about $1.95, no, 55 cent credit and a $1.95, yeah, risk. So that would, would probably be a pretty good play at 250. Is that correct? No, I'm sorry, 210. 210 is, well, it's a kind of tight, but boy, it sure is taking off today. So that would be a good 20 delta trade. So I'm going to put that down for this week, and you could even do it for next week. Let's take a look at next week. And there's nothing out there for next week. Not with those strikes, I'll bet you. I bet you have to go five wide on the strike. So we'll go to 210. Oops. 205. So that's a, that's a pretty good one, too. So you're risking 352 to make 148. And now you're sitting at, you're short still at 210. Yeah, I might want to move that down to 200 and make this 205. And we'll do the, let's move the probability out here. So we are looking at about a 75% probability of expiring out of the money, which is what we would want on this particular trade. And that would probably be the one that I would go after. Let's just check to see if this short at 205, what the delta is on that. 205, the delta is 23. So that's uh, that would be a good one. That would be probably what I would do. And last but not least is Visa. Okay, Visa is in a downtrend. We just came up here into our target. We have a setup on Visa. Nice solid green line. Only took it one, two, three days, four days to get here. So now we would be looking to go with a bear call on that. So that's a setup on Visa. And that's it for today. Okay, so have fun trading today. Have a great day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.